mehr als aufhört. <lacht> I think the wind knows that the men, uh, men's race is coming up because it's turned into a tailwind again. Yeah, they're going to be a tailwind, could have a fast time, yeah. and it's the flying fours down to 500 meters. So this is where you can have Ronnie Rao, Levisher, Lempton, Renschmidt, all in the same road. Pogobangus, so Postergaard, you should not Taken away from the Olympic program, they have another well, event. Back, certainly they'd had to conquer the 1,000 meters. Yeah, this is a young crew, I think. Well, a mix. Uh, this is a new, new combination. So they're all, tell me what they're doing with their arms and why. They're just shaking out any lactate that um, would have built up in, in the warm up and just try and get the muscles as loose as, as they can before they start. Here's the other Slovakian crew. Silver medalist from Rio. The Spanish, I think, will be very good. And the new Czech crew without Dostal. The current world record holders from Germany. Part of their Olympic boat, uh, Leibischer and Renschmidt, mm -hmm. Marcus Graves, Max Hoff, together in the uh, K2. Yeah. The Portuguese switch it around a little bit. Emmanuel Silva normally steers the boat. Postergai uh, knows what it's like to have a lot of power behind him with Daichenko. They're about to start. And they're away. The wind is slightly going. It's a slight tailwind. Very, very high rates, especially from the Germans. Lots of 200 meter power pushing um, Max Rinschmidt down the course. The Spanish in your picture taking it away with the Germans also in the black tip boat looking very powerful at this stage. They're very, very controlled. Just going through halfway. There's Marcus Waltz who Good won the gold medal in the 1000 meters. Hasn't done much this weekend in Rio. Yeah. Putting down a fast time of well. Oh, the Got the lead at the moment, but the Germans so are just Germany coming back up. with Max Renschmidt. I spoke to him about nine o'clock yesterday evening. He said he was disappointed with his K1 performance, but he's looking happy with his uh, with his K4. It's already coming into the last 100 meters, and it looks like Ronnie Rao and his mates are taking it away. It's going to be a fast time. Germany all the way. They're really pulling ahead with every single stroke. Germany's going to take it from Spain. I think that's another world record. I think it is. The world record before was 119.650. I think it's going to be about 119 oh, flat. Wow. Impressive. And not even that much of a wind. No. Well, this is going to be the Olympic boat. Sorry, the Olympic discipline. Mm -hmm. Max you really Lemke don't really have time happy. to hold your breath do you? or catch your breath. <laughs> no. One minute, 19 <laughs> seconds of, of pure speed. No. I didn't even see who got third. I was so excited by the world record. About the, the speed, the time of things. I think it probably is. I say 119. We'll have to have confirmation of how the, uh, how the side goes. So the Spanish certainly had the high profile, but the Germans, let's look at the determination. Yeah. Good timing, the, the back people have to put their pedals in just before so that it kind of rushes the front paddler to um, get, their the, get the stroke rate up, which can obviously keep the speed going. Well, the middle of that boat with Raoul Liebescher, who specialized <laughs> in the 200 meters. Yeah, and Max Lemke just missed out on the Olympics in the K1 200 last year at their selections. So he was a great junior, and Ren yeah. Schmidt uh, only won two goals in Rio. Yeah, yeah it's New World's best by wow. nearly a second. 118.748. Raul Emisher, Lemke, Ren Schmidt are the gold medal winners ahead of Spain, who also under the fastest time ever. 